everyone let's continue and we will today we would learn how we can import excel sheet in the and we will so first of all i'm going to start a new project let's say i'm saying demo and uh, demo on i'm putting up today's date february february right and what i will do let's say i would like to save this file otherwise my directory is already set so this file will be saved in this particular directory otherwise you can browse and you can set your directory and after that you can give this file name also so let's say my file name is demo on 16 february dot nvp this is the file and already this would be saved in this particular folder so next and then create project <clears throat> After creating this project, now new interface will open and this is the new interface and I am going to skip to and further what I have to do simply we will I am just closing this and uh, we will go to import here is the because this file here is you can see when we are importing file to so all this kind of word document we can import but we could not be able to import excel sheet. So what we have to do let me open this survey and here is in survey you can click here right excel file right a moment you would click here excel file and you have to click here right this one is the this file is put it in this folder interview analysis because uh, i have already collected uh, some data from my from my students so this one is the data is i'm going to use that is in the excel sheet and after that, you can say, welcome to the survey, import wizard. And here is NVivo will import all the cases, attributes, open-ended, etc. And next, a moment, you will click next. So these are my, all the attributes. Attributes means this one is the question in the last column. And educational background, I had asked age, what is the age of the uh, student and uh, his or her education qualification, whether PG, UG, or uh, uh, this one is the, they are the research scholars. So let me continue next. And after that, let ne next, I'm going to continue. Now, this option that would, because uh, all these questions, gender is closed ended question. Education qualification, PG is a closed ended question. Educational background, that is also closed ended question, but only the last question, the perception of the higher education students and influencing factors in using chat GP. This was the my question. So all the student had filled the answer. So this is the open ended question, right? So I am importing all these parameters closed ended, right? As well as this is the open ended text also. Next. Now, the most important is auto code themes and sentiment right so here is nvv can automatically identify some themes and sentiments in the responses to your open ended questions and this will provide preliminary results that you can explore further to gain insight into your survey results so auto code auto code themes and auto code sentiments if i would select this so auto coding will start so let me finish this and it will take little bit time so here is now you can see import survey creating cases for survey respondents creating cases attributes for closed ended questions i mean automatically it has created all the attributes creating codes for open ended question here is auto coding themes and auto coding sentiments and let me close this and now, now you would see, I would show you how you can read this. So this is my qualitative research responses under this file. Now, let me little bit bigger this size. Right. So here is total 174 codes created, references 1092. And here is now you can see this is the autocoded file. Correct. And these are my... These are all the students' data, those had filled respondents' data, right? And what we have to do now with the help of this, this is the auto-coded because there is no need to, you have to code yourself. So simply what you have to do, you have to explore 
and now you can see your word frequency also right a word frequency let's say selected items right selected item let's say those are the codes has created from this file right or those are the let's say this one is the cases on the basis of the all the cases right those are the cases right you had created and here is on the basis of this you can create your word this one is the i will i will i will discuss later on and further it is let's say you want to explore this one is the hierarchy chart so hierarchy chart that is all the codes right you are going to use and there is the these are the codes and next finish all the cases and now you can say this is the hierarchy chart is created over here right so hierarchy chart means uh, this one is the majority because in my text file you can see this is the question was already written in the text right and after that education students then this one is the influencing factor variables tools etc this is the and sunburst chart also you can prepare it so this is the our sunburst chart so this is the automatically it has created all the codings right and now you can see these this kind of the charts also and uh, color variation also you can do it in that way whatever is the color theme you require you can do it right so uh, i mean auto coding by the excel sheet now you have learned and we will discuss in the detail how you have to analyze these excel sheets it is just uh, this video was just uh, related to how you can import excel sheet and how you can create auto coding also and we will discuss later on right so thank you and stay tuned keep watching